Hi everyone, in this video we're going to analyze the pressure drop across a Tesla valve in both directions. Now the Tesla valve is a system that without any moving parts has a dramatically different pressure resistance when the flow goes from one side to the other side or the other way around. Now the cool thing is that in this video we're going to use a 3D model that you can download and 3D print yourself to do your own testing um, as it was done on this YouTube channel. So credits to their channel, check the link in the description below. So in our case, we're going to take that 3D model and the only thing we did was to add um, a lid on top of it, which in their case was a plexi cover, I think, and an inlet and an outlet cover um, to define the boundary conditions. So with that done, we uploaded the model to Airshaper where we selected water as the liquid, selected millimeters as a scale, and then we're going to run two simulations. So one will be using the inlet here um, for a one meter per second uh, velocity, and at the outlet we will define a free pressure opening, let's say, so the water can flow out freely. And in the second simulation we're going to do exactly the opposite, keep the model the same, but this will be the inlet and this will be the outlet. Now we're going to run this simulation at a low resolution because it's an internal flow, pro flow problem so 1 million cells should be enough and it takes around uh, 30 to 60 minutes uh, even faster actually to finish. So these are the finished simulation results. So the cool thing is that um, this is the one with low pressure resistance, which means the flow starts at this end, uh, sorry, starts at this end and actually flows down all the way in this direction. And you can clearly see that the flow just follow these light bends here and that's it. It just bounces off the walls here and then continues straight. And we have a pressure, uh, pressure drop of um, 31,000 uh, 31, pascals. Now, if you look at the other simulation uh, where the flow is actually going in the opposite direction, starting here, you can see that it has to take this bend and then goes around and then the flow through this part is being blocked by its own flow and so on. And this really leads to a dramatically higher pressure drop. So this one has an 183,000 pascals of pressure drop, which is almost a factor six between these two simulations. Now the cool thing is that we can also dive in to see what is happening with the friction patterns as well. So the low resistance situation here, you can see the red areas is where the liquid uh, at the beginning still goes into this corner here, but then the mainstream is just via the center. That's where you have wall friction, um, but the bends are not, not being used and are not obstructing the flow a lot. You have a bit of turbulence and flow separation, but other than that, the pressure drop is quite low. If you go to the other one and look at the same visualization, you'll see that the flow, which is now coming from this side, has to make a split. So half of, let's say half of the flow is going this way, but then it curves backward and actually collides with the flow that wants to go straight. And then here it's the same. This flow is where it wants to go, this is where it has momentum, so it wants to go straight, but then actually this gives momentum to this reverse flow which then collides with this flow and so on. Which is why in the end the main path is actually via the curves instead of via the straight parts. So really interesting to see how this all works. So that was it for our short video explaining the functioning of the Tesla valve. Be sure to download the 3D model and experiment yourself. And if you have any comments, if you're working on something similar or you want to improve this design, just let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.